Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and it's time to talk about the server instability as well as all the new bugs emerging after patch 11. It's not great news, but it's something that needs to be discussed. I know what you're thinking, damn, she's going to whine again about the bugs. Yes, I know. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but I really don't see a way around it at this point. So in the last two days, I have been encountering so many bugs, and some of them are really game-breaking, so I decided to make yet another compilation. Besides all the bugs I have been encountering after patch 11, I have published some in my latest hotfix videos for the first and for the second as well but this time it's more than just bugs there's a lot going on there's a lot of server issues that really need to be addressed especially because we are getting new content starting on this tuesday we are getting a new event and if you have checked my latest video about the quakecon that took place last weekend if you didn't maybe you want to take a look i'm putting the link up there Bethesda has announced over 20 new features for the Nuclear Winter DLC as well as the Wastelanders DLC coming in November. So there's a lot of new content planned for Fallout 76. But my question is, how are they going to implement all these new things when the game is in such a bad state? I mean, I don't want to give too much opinion here in the intro, I will leave that for the outro. I want to give you guys the facts first, at least my facts, but things are really bad. Like, sometimes it's unplayable, sometimes it's just too frustrating. I have been reading Reddit and it seems like a lot of people are quitting or taking a break again. And it's not just my experience, I see it in your comments over Reddit, over Discord, talking to other people, it's a general thing. So maybe Bethesda will take a look at this video, or maybe they will start taking us a little bit more serious if we keep discussing this sort of matter more seriously, because I feel like a lot of people are afraid to whine or to throw up negative comments about Fallout 76. I understand that the community is very friendly, is very positive. I agree with that. I'm also like that. But when something is wrong, you have to come forward and say, hey, this is wrong. This needs to be fixed. Otherwise, what is going to change, really? Nothing will change. So this is my main goal with this video. I don't want to really make humor with it, even though all of the clips are, you know, like what's going on here uh i just want to discuss this and i want to bring some light about all the bugs and issues that are going on right now so let's begin i wish i didn't have to but we have let's start with something light i don't want to overwhelm you at first but some bugs seem to be mutating, for example, when you kill a Scorched or a Super Mutant and their torso stays in thin air, then it fades away. Lately, my torsos are like staying forever, that's extremely creepy. But look at this fantastic example, the Slender Man is now a headless Slender Man. I came across this yesterday and and I was completely shocked because, as you saw, I first saw him inside the wall. I was like, what? what is this creature? And then I realized this is a player. And this is a Slenderman bug. So, yeah, I think this makes my point clear. The bugs are really getting worse. Okay, now we are ready to discuss the real stuff and this one is about rubber banding. Yesterday I ended up in this server where I was basically rubber banding every few seconds but it only happens when I'm sprinting. When I walk or when I jump, nothing happens. 
I also find this scorch inside the floor or ground, which is always amazing. And a great indicator that the server is performing amazingly. No, but seriously, this happens because the server is so overloaded that it can't really register my movement when I sprint. At least that's what I think. And that can be really game breaking because when you are in combat, your hits will probably not register as well, especially if you are sprinting. Just look at his rubber banding, it's awful. Let's just hope it won't keep happening. It was a one time experience and I certainly hated it. However, rubber banding is not so serious when you think about this one. Server issues, especially during the Scorch Queen, during Scorch Heart event, things get very dense for the servers and quite often after patch 11, the servers will just give up. They will go down and kick everyone who's connected to it. And a great indicator that the server is about to go down is when the queen starts behaving very strangely, like it never lands and it gets stuck in the air or just, you know, like goes around you barely moving. That is a great hint that something far worse is about to happen. So in here, she was basically stuck in the same place and then BAM! We were all out of the server and yes, it wasn't just me because I was doing this with a friend and he also got kicked. So yeah, it's not the first time and I think it won't be the last one. And something even worse than server crashings is the new invisible avoid points. Some people are calling them ghosts. And they are basically spots in game, random spots in random places where they kill you. It's completely invisible and sometimes you will get damaged or sometimes you will instantly die. It depends how close you get to these barriers or spots and nobody really knows what they are. I first came across this bug when I was doing the Queen, I think right after patch 11 came out. And yesterday, me and G-Man found awesome. this uh, horrible barrier near the White Springs vendor at the station. Multiple people were here, even low levels, they were just trying to reach the vendor. And we were just dying, getting crippled. All my body was broken here, as you can see, I was very close to the spot, but not close enough for it to kill me. So the auto regeneration for my mutation was just keeping me alive, but my entire body was broken. Then I started testing to understand exactly where the source was and it's here at the stairs, right at the entrance. Uh, which is really weird. I mean, what could be there? I have seen some people saying over Reddit that maybe it's some bug with the explosions, but why would an explosion be at the entrance of a station with no mobs around it at all? It's very weird. And honestly, I couldn't come to a conclusion after dying over and over to this thing, ghost, spot, I don't know what to call it really. But it is really horrible. Imagine one of these low level players, they don't know what's going on. Maybe they don't even know it's a bug. Maybe they think one of us was hacking or griefing them. It doesn't matter. It's a horrible experience. And if a low level player comes across this, they will probably uninstall the game and never play it again. At least I think I would do that because, I mean, you lose your junk, your armor will break if you keep trying to get here and you keep dying and you don't know what's going on. I mean, seriously, it's just 
unnerving, frustrating, and imagine someone was carrying a lot of flux or something really valuable, like bulks, and then you can't even get it back, because as soon as you try to get close, you will die. I think this is the second most critical bug in the game right now, after servers crashing, because it's just a horrible experience for anyone involved and there is nothing you can do to well get to your destination and to retrieve your junk pack so it's like double negative at once uh, i really hope they look into this something else that i have noticed is that most events are suffering from minor and some major bugs for example, when you do hide and seek and destroy, the cargo boat will run away from you even though you hit it and it should turn red. It keeps being white name and it runs away from you, you know, to the other side of the map, which forces you to teleport over and over until it decides to become red and finally stay around you. It's a really annoying one, I can tell you that much. But there are many other events bugging right now. For example, the messenger is well known for getting bugged at the start or during the process of escorting him, like he will just get stuck and not move anywhere at all. But that's not the only one. For example, at Project Paradise, sometimes you will get a level 1 animal, even though you got a rank 1 or rank 2. It's not supposed to be like that. Also, when the creatures spawn here, one of them spawned dead. Like, we only had two creatures. It's supposed to spawn with three. So, there are a lot of minor bugs that you probably are not noticing right now because they are not really impacting or affecting the event itself but they are still not right or as intended. Another fine example is here at the heart of the swamp where I could keep hitting the strangler heart and do damage to it apparently while it was closed. Like what is that? Seriously. It's a display bug, I know, but still there are so many like this. Something else that has been here for a while, to do not say forever, is the bugs with a lot of main features, such as the stamina bar. Sometimes it will be like this, you are sprinting and it doesn't drain. Sometimes it's the opposite, you are not sprinting but it gets drained and then it doesn't regenerate at all. But there are many other bugs, like when you fast travel, where you have to click twice in the location to actually make it work or sometimes teleporting to your camp doesn't work at all no matter how many times you try the auto respawn feature when you are doing an event is also bugged since i can remember and this happens it auto spawns you and then you have to spawn again because you don't have access to any control it's super annoying and unnecessary to loading screens. You will also find power armor frames randomly across the world. It's extremely weird. So yeah, it's like you can find a bug in every single corner that you cross. You know that things are really, really buggy when even the injury animations get stuck in your body and they don't go away. Thumbs up to the bag with the sound in the background too. So it is a beautiful world. I had this bag with bullets over my body for about an hour yesterday while I remained in the same server. I changed outfits, armor, you know, didn't matter. It's like a mask, like a layer over my character and it never went away until I changed servers. This bug came with patch 11 and it's something that I have read about many times over reddit. It's the new power armor bug 
and I had the privilege to experience it for the first time while doing a silo run two nights ago. So this is what happens. You get out of your power armor, like instantly the power armor disappears and then your character is locked down. You cannot move, you have no controls. All you can do is attack and block with the mouse and that's it. What is the solution? Well, there is none. All you can do is control alt delete and close the game like that. There is no other way, at least I couldn't find any. If you know any other way to kind of get out of this state, do let me know in the comment section below. I would very much like to know. Ooh, another fabulous bug that I discovered after patch 11 is this one. When someone dies and... Hey, I know this person, he's in my friend list. But why are you shooting at the sky? Wait, but there are no bullets. Then I realized the real one was in front of me. Yeah, because he has this power armor skin from nuclear winter not many people have it so this is when i figured out that this is a new bug and that is just a glitch like a display visual glitch whatever that wasn't him this one is the real one and it actually happened with the spot like the ghost thing i showed you earlier where one of the guys died and then his body just spawned in the same place he died. So it seems like a new common bug now when people die, they just come back to life, but it's just a trick. It's not real. Don't trust it. But A, if you think it's over, you are wrong. There are many more new bugs that are arising with the new patch and the new hotfixes. I'm not sure what are they fixing because it's like the bugs keep multiplying each other. Just like this three stars legendary Scorch that died. His body is right in front of me. My camera is also confirming it, but I can't loot him from this angle. Only from the other side. Why? I have no clue, but well, at least I could loot it, so things could be worse, I suppose. Also, it seems like some normal mobs are now acting like legendaries. Just look at the HP bar. This culper is a hero. He kept regenerating HP, even though he's not a legendary. Well, is it another nameplate bug? Who knows? And well, it seems like sometimes you cannot fast travel to your friends when they are in the same server. I have no idea why, but I kept trying and look, I always get this error message that doesn't let me do it. And also this bug when you try to join an adventure server with your team and it stays like this forever. You can't even stop it with escape I also had to restart my game to get back to my controls. Lastly, we have a section that was not part of the initial planning for this video. Some hours ago, when I was doing Nuclear Winter, I found the icing on top of the cake. I realized that the weekly reset just took place. My Nuclear Winter match finished right after it resetted 5 minutes, 10 minutes, give or take. So I went to Adventure to check the challenges to see how they are. And look at that. They were mostly done. Probably the fastest weekly challenges of my life. Yep, this is a bug between server modes. It is quite known at this point since patch 11. I get it often with my dailies. And that's the only reason I instantly left Nuclear Winter today after I realized it was 5 minutes past the reset time. I was afraid this would happen and it did happen. So I tried to report this issue to Bethesda. I searched for a Bethesda support ticket. I went to their page and look what I got. Would you like to report a bug? 
So here you go, take even another yet another bug. That's exactly what happened and I ended up posting it over Reddit because I don't know what else to do. And that's my little story for today. So with all of that in mind, are you guys sure we are ready for new content? Because I'm really not sure. There is really a lot of huge major issues going on right now and I don't see any hot fixes doing it. I, I, I don't think they will fix any of these things. We need uh, a really big patch to go over all these issues and they won't be going away anytime soon if Bethesda doesn't take it very seriously. I understand that they need to uh, provide new items for the Atomic Shop, they need to make revenue, they need to work on the DLC content as well, but what about priorities? We have a lot of pending issues that have been going on for ages and now we have a lot of new ones as well. So this is not fine, this is not okay, and people are already uh, manifesting their thoughts. Some of them are leaving the game, making a break, quitting out together. Others are discussing it, others prefer to ignore the issues, and I'm not so fine with that. I want to show the world or you guys what's going on, and I would like to know more about your experiences. I'm sure you are having different bugs, or maybe you're having the same as well. So make sure to share with me in the comment section below what you think about the situation in Fallout 76 right now and are you experiencing bugs like me or the same bugs? Also, what are you experiencing with legendary spawn rates? I have heard that it's affecting mostly PC gamers. On console, people are still finding a decent or normal spawn rate, especially in West Tech and White Spring. I have read, I think, at least a dozen comments saying this. I have been asking people where they're playing and they always tell me console. So I'm starting to think that there is a difference between PC and console when it comes to legendary spawn rates. I'm not sure yet, but that's just a thought that might or may not be confirmed. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. It is long enough already, but I am deeply concerned about the game because we don't really see things moving forward. There are bugs everywhere, servers crash all the time, people are complaining, and they don't listen to us. I mean, great, they have a big plan ahead for the DLCs, and we are very thankful to them for thinking ahead, for bringing things that people want to experience, but there are other things to solve, there are other priorities as well. So I hope they really start doing it, moving forward and fixing their game. Thank you for watching guys and if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content and you would like to see more like this of course. I have a Patreon page as well if you would like to check it out and don't forget to click in the link in the description below. That's going to be everything for today. I am Marta Branco. Thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon in the next video. Adios! Bye bye!